So although I'm not a uh, sponsored shooter anymore, I did get this bow from Hoyt. Um, so this is a gifted product. Take that into account as I make this review. I will try to be as honest as I can, but uh, yeah, it is a gifted product and I'm inclined to tell you. <laughs> So there's definitely some differences between this bow and the previous bow. So I've been shooting the Formula X and the XI for, um, that's a good question actually, what is it, maybe three or four years. Um, so I've really gotten used to that feeling. Um, and then if you go to this one, it's more uh, mellow maybe in a sense. Uh, it might have to do with uh, the dampeners that are in the pockets. They have 360 degrees dampeners, so there's a little weight encapsulated in um, uh, some rubber so that it can move freely in all directions. Um, I feel like that definitely takes some of the snappiness out of the shot, um, which is pleasant. It, it means you have a little bit less shock in your hand, but um, it also takes a little bit of the feedback from the shot away. Um, also the change grip position, it's nice for aiming, but also the, the general shot feel kind of makes it a bit different. Um, which is something that I think I mostly have to get used to, but also um, I have uh, quite a dampened setup with uh, some A-bombs on the ends of my stabilizers and a uh, really short extension. So um, I uh, somebody is boring my shorter stabilizers with the extender. So uh, I'll get those back tomorrow and I'm, I'm looking forward to slamming those on and uh, to have a bit more of a dynamic shot feel. Um, but so far the limbs, they feel really good. They're, they're smooth um, and, and they still feel pretty um, energetic in a way. Um, I haven't measured if they are actually faster than the Velos, but um, I think at this point they're also fast that it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but they do for sure feel good and uh, I think it's the, the best looking limb that we've seen in a while. Um, yeah, um, overall I'm, I'm quite positive about this. One. God. seems quite easy to shoot in a way that uh, if I make a little bit of a release mistake or uh, if I have a little bit of a drop in pressure um, it kind of still hits uh, where I expect them to hit uh, in a sense that they're only a little bit low so yeah so far it's been quite forgiving so all in all um, this Formula XZ with the Axia limbs are, it's, it's a very enjoyable bow to shoot. Um, I'm looking forward to shoot with this uh, recreationally. Uh, that's good to note. Um, I think the design, uh, it's a bit divided. Some people like it, some people don't. I have to say, when I first saw it come out, uh, it looked a bit odd to me, but with all the components on it, it looks a bit better already, or uh, a lot better actually. Um, and I think it looks more, uh, yeah. It, it look, just looks better with uh, with everything on it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to shooting this a bit more. If anything changes in my uh, in my ideas about it, uh, I will let you know. But uh, for now, I'm uh, really enjoying shooting it. Much 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 later. This bow is so quiet in the hand and easy to aim that I felt the need to change my stabilizers a bit to a more of an aggressive setup with an extender and slightly shorter side stabilizers. Even with the change, the bow is really still while aiming, but it does kick a bit more, which I like. There will also be people who will enjoy a more relaxed setup, so to say, but I like to get a bit of feedback from the bow. All in all, I think the change in grip position and the heavier pockets have mostly been a benefit to aiming, but, um, but I also think that the bow just shoots nice and it, it does have a bit of kick in it if you uh, set up your stabilizers accordingly.